Hey everybody, welcome back to the Here to See channel. Got another here journal for you, Psalms chapter 106. Psalms, the book of sacred songs. Here to See channel focusing on sharing pearls of wisdom, nuggets of knowledge, understanding the difficult, and instructions for a better life. We're going to read through Psalms chapter 106 and going to do a hear journal on it. Hear journaling is a method that many find edifying to their personal relationship with the Lord. Check out replicate.org to learn more about hear journaling. Now let's read and listen to Psalms chapter 106 in the New Living Translation and then I'll share my hair journal with you. Psalm 106 Praise the Lord! Give thanks to the Lord, for He is good. His faithful love endures forever. Who can list the glorious miracles of the Lord? Who can ever praise Him enough? There is joy for those who deal justly with others and always do what is right. Remember me, Lord, when you show favor to your people. Come near and rescue me. Let me share in the prosperity of your chosen ones. Let me rejoice in the joy of your people. Let me praise you with those who are your heritage. Like our ancestors, we have sinned. We have done wrong. We have acted wickedly. Our ancestors in Egypt were not impressed by the Lord's miraculous deeds. They soon forgot his many acts of kindness to them. Instead, they rebelled against him at the Red Sea. Even so, he saved them to defend the honor of his name and to demonstrate his mighty power. He commanded the Red Sea to dry up. He led Israel across the sea as if it were a desert. So he rescued them from their enemies and redeemed them from their foes. Then the water returned and covered their enemies. Not one of them survived. Then his people believed his promises. Then they sang his praise. Yet how quickly they forgot what he had done. They wouldn't wait for his counsel. In the wilderness their desires ran wild, testing God's patience in that dry wasteland. So he gave them what they asked for, but he sent a plague along with it. The people in the camp were jealous of Moses and envious of Aaron, the Lord's holy priest. Because of this, the earth opened up. It swallowed Dathan and buried Abiram and the other rebels. Fire fell upon their followers. A flame consumed the wicked. The people made a calf at Mount Sinai. They bowed before an image made of gold. They traded their glorious God for a statue of a grass-eating bull. They forgot God, their Savior, who had done such great things in Egypt, such wonderful things in the land of Ham, such awesome deeds at the Red Sea. So he declared he would destroy them. But Moses, his chosen one, stepped between the Lord and the people. He begged him to turn from his anger and not destroy them. The people refused to enter the pleasant land, for they wouldn't believe his promise to care for them. Instead, they grumbled in their tents and refused to obey the Lord. Therefore, he solemnly swore that he would kill them in the wilderness, that he would scatter their descendants among the nations, exiling them to distant lands. Then our ancestors joined in the worship of Baal at Peor. They even ate sacrifices offered to the dead. They angered the Lord with all these things, so a plague broke out among them. But Phineas had the courage to intervene, and the plague was stopped. So he has been regarded as a righteous man ever since that time. At Meribah, too, they angered the Lord, causing Moses serious trouble. They made Moses angry, and he spoke foolishly. Israel failed to destroy the nations in the land as the Lord had commanded them. Instead, they mingled among the pagans and adopted their evil customs. They worshipped their idols, which led to their downfall. They even sacrificed their sons and their daughters to the demons. They shed innocent blood, the blood of their sons and daughters. By sacrificing them to the idols of Canaan, they polluted the land with murder. They defiled themselves by their evil deeds, and their love of idols was adultery in the Lord's sight. That is why the Lord's anger burned against his people, and he abhorred his own special possession. He handed them over to pagan nations, and they were ruled by those who hated them. Their enemies crushed them and brought them under their cruel power. Again and again he rescued them, but they chose to rebel against him, and they were finally destroyed by their sin. Even so, 
He pitied them in their distress and listened to their cries. He remembered his covenant with them and relented because of his unfailing love. He even caused their captors to treat them with kindness. Save us, O Lord our God. Gather us back from among the nations so we can thank your holy name and rejoice and praise you. Praise the Lord, the God of Israel, who lives from everlasting to everlasting. Let all the people say amen. Praise the Lord. That was Psalm chapter 106 in the New Living Translation from the Version Bible app. Now for my hear journal. First, the highlight. Psalm chapter 106, verse 24. The people refused to enter the pleasant land, for they wouldn't believe His promise to care for them. Instead, they grumbled in their tents and refused to obey the Lord. Therefore, He solemnly swore that He would kill them in the wilderness, that He would scatter their descendants among the nations exiling them to distant lands. So, what's my explanation? The psalmist recalls that the people of Israel refused to enter the promised land because their faith in the Lord was weak. How could a people that witnessed so many miracles have weak faith. I recall that Peter having weak faith, although he had witnessed many, many miracles that Jesus performed. Faith doesn't come by witnessing miracles. Faith comes from hearing the Word of God. Romans chapter 10 verses 17 says, So then faith comes by hearing and hearing by the Word of God. What's my application or the application for us today? We must maintain our faith by maintaining our relationship with the Lord, spending time in His Word, the Bible, and spending time in prayer. We must abide in Him as He abides in us. The Holy Spirit will lead us unto all truth. Try some here journaling it really grows your relationship with the Lord. Give it a try, really. My response? Lord, thank you for your love and guidance. I enjoy our time together as I read and seek you through your word. I pray for those that do not know you, who will be drawn to you. I pray for all believers to draw closer to you. And now, how about you? You try some here journaling, highlight, explain, apply response. You'll be so glad you did, really. And comment below. Share your experiences with us. Have you tried here journaling? Let us know. And if you don't know Jesus as your Lord and Savior, read the Gospel of John chapter 3 to learn about His forgiveness and talk to God about it. You can talk to God about anything. He loves you. He wants to hear from you. He wants to talk with you. Seek Him today. God bless.